Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and I often get asked what headset I recommend or what keyboard I prefer. Now, obviously, this kind of choice, especially for a PC gamer, really depends on preference and a variety of factors. Sure. They look crazy awesome, but will that fancy mouse or keyboard make that much of a difference in your game? Let's tech inspect gaming peripherals. Now, to help us out today, I've got a bunch of premium accessories from Phoenix, a California-based private PC peripheral manufacturer, totally nailed it, and the German company Rocket, whose company statement is, do it your own way and don't talk shit, really. Their products are particularly awesome for customization, which as a gamer is invaluable. And here's why. First, let's talk keyboards. A fancy keyboard like this one, the Rocket Rios MK Pro, offers custom macros, meaning you can assign a series of instructions to just one button. It's also a mechanical keyboard, meaning the keys operate on individual switches to send input to the computer, and depending what type of switch the keyboard uses, the sound and the feel of pressing each key will differ. Once you know exactly how far you need to press each key, your speed can greatly increase, giving you the competitive edge. Rollover is a keyboard's ability to register different keystrokes, and a standard keyboard connected with one USB can normally register up to six keys before it punks out. A higher end keyboard will usually connect with two USBs and have N key rollover, meaning each key is scanned independently and will avoid ghosting or jamming. Now, if you play into the wee hours of the morning, backlighting can really help. Some keyboards have multicolor or individual key illumination so that you can customize away. Now, the Rocket keyboard that we have here offers many of these customization options, as well as giving a one millisecond response time, two USB ports so it acts as a hub, and an easy shift button so that you can program over 500 different macros. Okay, on to gaming mice. Mouses? To give you the greatest advantage, you need something that matches and highlights how you play games. Now, if you play more RTS, you will love those extra programmable buttons, like the ones you see here on the Rocket Cone XTD, and how much memory is available to store different configurations. You want to look at the DPI, or dots per inch, to see how sensitive the mouse is, although a higher DPI doesn't necessarily mean higher accuracy on your part. So I say make sure you find one with an adjustable DPI, like this one, or the Phoenix Nasita here, which is a less flashy mouse, but has a display for your DPI right here. And it's built into this mouse, so it doesn't require any drivers, and therefore will work on any platform. Now, for comfort, how does it feel in your hand? Is it too small or too large? Is it good for right and left-handed? If you're playing for hours, a hand cramp is a total no-no. Now, I actually really like that the Cone XTD comes with external weight, so you can make it exactly how you like it. The weight will really affect the glide you get. So, paired with this high glide, non-slip see mouse pad, you can get exactly what you want. Totally not a control freak. And for the Phoenix Nasita, there's a lovely Phoenix Demora mouse pad, which is large and a bit louder, but offers a minimal glide combo that would make any gamer happy. Now, when looking at headsets, you want something that effectively allows you to communicate with your teammates. Noise reduction is important so they can hear you, and clear sound is important so that you can hear them without static and such like that. Depth and quality of sound can really make the gaming experience come alive and help you to, say, I don't know, locate an enemy behind you that you are unable to see. Is the surround sound virtual or are there actually different drivers per ear? The Cave XTD 5.1 here offers real surround sound, as does the Razer Tiamat, Tiamat, I never said it right, 7.1. Both have multiple drivers in each ear to give actual surround sound in a headset, not just digital or virtual surround sound. Now the Cave XTD has a desktop remote, which yes, while it makes it harder to travel with, it also gives you the ability to easily control volume, mute your mic, change output to a different system, or Bluetooth connect to a phone call, all at your fingertips. This particular headset even has a built-in sound card, saving you ever premium chassis space. Really cool. Now, apart from specs and functionality, the headset has to be comfortable. Look for weight, type of padding, cushion type and adjustability. So when you get down to the nitty gritty, accessories are to the PC gamer what pots, pans, and utensils are to a chef. They're tools that can enhance your skills depending on how you use them, but by themselves will not necessarily make you a better gamer. Do your research, find what's right for you, and really think about how much you will take advantage of the options offered by each device. And if that's worth the price point, then game on. So what accessories do you prefer to game with? Let us know your faves in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation to see all of our content on our other channels. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and uh, I'm always at such a disadvantage because I get to see all the coolest stuff, and I always want all the coolest stuff, but my bank account says no, no.
electronics or my kryptonite.